How to use Pinterest for Etsy sales, step-by-step -step tutorial for beginners 2023. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope all of you are doing great and are having an amazing and spectacular day. I bring you back with yet another video and in this video we're going to be discussing about Etsy and how you can maximize the sales on it, okay, by using Pinterest, okay. And it's going to be really fun and really easy because as we all know, Pinterest is like one of the most leading places for, you know, photos and people, you know, check stuff out over there. And it's just an amazing place to, you know, discuss things, to see how things actually work and stuff. So just uh, make sure to watch this video till the end because I'm going to fully explain it to you how you can like to them maximize your sales when it comes to, you know, Etsy. So. Without further ado, let's just get straight into it. There's going to be a lot of designing and there's going to be a lot of, you know, complicated stuff in this. So do make sure to watch this video till the end. So without further ado, let's just get straight into it. Now, to get ourselves started off, what we're going to do is we're going to obviously, first of all, go ahead and optimize our Pinterest account. Now, how are we going to do that? Basically, what you're going to do is, first of all, you're going to convert your account to business. OK, you're going to come here where it says convert to business. And once you go and convert to business, obviously it says upgrade to free business account, grow your business, etc. And as you can see in the personal, you can only have publishing tools, but in the business, as you can see, it gives you options like ads manager, you know, manage and track campaigns. You have insights and analytics, you know, discover top performing pins and ads. You have credits and offers, quality for promotions, ads, credits, and more. And then finally, once we've discussed all that, what we're going to do is we're going to click on upgrade and go right into it. OK, now, once we've headed straight into it here, it says build your profile, you have profile name and all that. So we're going to do exactly that. So you're just going to I'm just going to write John's goods. OK, we're going to call it that. So do you have a website? OK, obviously Etsy. OK, that's our website. So you're going to go to your Etsy website. And once you've gone to your Etsy website from there on out, obviously, you're going to make sure to uh, choose your Etsy link. And you're going to add it over here. OK, so I'm just going to add a random link right now. And once you've added a random link from there on out, you're going to choose your country, region and everything. Click on next. What's the focus of your brand? OK, now, obviously, you're going to choose whatever your brand is about. I'm going to go with fashion. OK, what are your goals? Pick up to three. You can update these in settings anytime. OK, sell more products, generate more leads, drive traffic. And uh, yeah, so. Once you're done with that, click on next, describe your business, get customized recommendations based on your details. Now, obviously, our business is going to be probably consumer good product or service or, you know, you can choose any one of these uh, more specifically. I guess online retail would work because it says if you're on Etsy, you can go with this. So we're going to go with that. Click on next. What do you use to sell your products? Obviously, we use Etsy. We're going to do that. Click on next. Would you ever be interested in running ads on Pinterest? So you can obviously say yes. Sure. And once you do that, click on next. Where would you like to start? OK, first of all, you can go ahead and claim and verify your website and everything and all that. But obviously, we're going to go ahead and showcase our brand. We're going to create our profile. OK, so once you do that, first of all, choose the proper profile picture for your public you know, profile. Now, normally people just add their own photos, but do know this, that this is a professional business profile. You want the world to know that you mean serious business. You mean serious game. So we don't want the impression that this is a personal private account. We want the impression that this is a proper, you know, full fledged thing. So obviously you're going to need to make sure to have a good professional profile picture. And uh, once you've added that key professional name, as you can see, John's goods. You yeah, have about again okay, the about you can tell people about yourself, tell people your story. Pretty simple, isn't it? So once you do that, then you have pronouns, you know, add it if you want to or don't add it. Totally depends on you. You have your email address. Choose that address line, etc. Once all of that is done, you're going to head to personal information. Put that in for yourself. Pretty simple. And you have account management with a password and everything. Again, pretty simple. And once you do that, then comes your branded content. So you can all sign up and choose your branded content for yourself. Again, pretty simple. And once you've done that, here you are. So first of all, you have, as I said, the profile picture, you can choose that. But this is what matters most. This behind your profile picture. OK, this is your cover photo. So let's go ahead and talk about this. By the way, we're going to be using Canva. OK, 
that Canva is the best free designing tool out there. So let's go ahead and use that. And if you like want to create a profile picture using this, as I'm going to do right now, you can do that as well. So in this tab, we're going to write Pinterest. Now, as you can see, it says Pinterest carousel ad. So we're going to click on that. And uh, obviously, if it gives you something like that, you can uh, go ahead. And once you go over here, you can choose the dimensions for this, which I guess it's like a basic rectangle. So uh, I'm going to write Pinterest. And once you write Pinterest, basically, you're going to get all these things over here, like Pinterest pins and all that. You can start from different medias. You can switch to different projects if you want to. Pretty simple. Or you can just, you know, create a rectangular design. So obviously we're going to keep more width than this. I'm going to keep it in millimeters preferably. So the width that you're going to want for this is um, around like, obviously we're going to go with more width than height, right? So I'm going to go with 105 and the height I'll go with, uh, let's go with 80. Okay. Let's go with 80 height. We're going to click on create new design. And once you do that, as you can see, it gives you this or, you know, what? let's go a bit smaller because we want a proper rectangle. So I'm going to go 40. And once you do that, create new design. OK, this is the design. I don't really like that. So I'm going to close that. I'm going to wait for Canva to give me a proper dimensional design. And once it does that, let's see how things are. So, yeah, that looks fairly similar. And I like what I see. So obviously, let's go ahead and start, you know, creating our good decent background and to create your decent background just have you know whatever solid color you want i'm gonna go with blue and you can start adding elements in it okay uh let's say i'm just gonna add this as an example i'm just giving you an example you don't certainly need to add this once you add this you have everything you're gonna go on share you're gonna go on download click on download and once you're done with all of this you're gonna come here on pinterest click on the plus sign browse add this and once you do that, it's going to ask you to crop it. But if it's perfect, as you can see there, you have added everything. And then finally comes, you know, uh, adding stuff related to your Etsy. So you're going to go ahead and go on create pin. And as you can see, a pin looks like this. OK, so what you're going to do is you're going to come here on uh, templates and, you know, where it says Pinterest pin ads. These are obviously the Pinterest pin ads. You're going to go with any one of them. Click on customize this template. Now, go ahead and create stuff with Canva. As you can see, mine is obviously for clothing. So I can, you know, add a shirt image over here or something like that. And then once I've chosen all of these, once I've created them properly, I'm going to go and download and I'm going to choose a single page for myself that I want to download. I'm going to go with this, click on download as so. And once you click on download and you're good to go. Yeah, basically here you are. And once you do that, you're going to come here. You're going to drag and drop it. And uh, as you can see, I drag and dropped it over here. You're going to add your title, you know, whatever title you want, like uh, brand new clothing out, et cetera, et cetera. And down here where it says destination link, you're going to add the destination for your Etsy store. And once you add the destination for your Etsy store, people are going to click on it and be, you know, directed to your Etsy store. So you, we're just going to publish it. And obviously it's going to be out into the profile. And if you're in a business profile and you have proper marketing, people are going to see your brand and they're going to click on it. They're going to be redirected to your Etsy store. And that will all be obviously increase more sales for your Etsy. So yeah, uh, that's basically about it for this video. If you enjoyed and found it informational, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, please let me know that as well. And I will make more videos just like this for you. But yeah, that's essentially it. If you enjoyed, please do make sure to drop down a like, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more, uh, again, let me know. But yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching this video till the end. That's all from me. And I will see all of you next time. Goodbye.